Hi guys, uh, so uh, this question uh, comes from uh, uh, one of you and uh, the problem with this data is that I have prepared this dummy data and uh, what user actually wants uh, to build a formula is uh, he's looking for a sum of plurals, right? Uh, all the items which uh, are not singular, uh, so he says that he has a data and uh, so data is very well structured and uh, what he wants to do is he wants to uh, find the you know price of the items which has s you know in um, in the last your this um, cell you know as a last character so um, i ha i uh, do not know what exactly the nature of the table uh, which uh, this person who wrote me this email has but uh, i have prepared some dummy data and he said that he's looking for a sum of these items um, so if cats has like you know s so it's a plural right dogs and then dolls and then cake so i prepared this like you know in this way and uh, so wherever uh, you know as a last character wherever uh, this excel sees that the s is there uh, it has to sum those values right so uh, yeah it's quite simple actually what you can do is there are a number of a, a number of ways of doing uh, you know of having a workaround uh, of this problem but uh, I guess what you can do is you can make it very simple and uh, so you use this uh, wild character called the star right so star actually uh, what it means is that uh, it means any character right any character generally uh, these are uh, these are the wild characters which are majorly used in MS Access, uh, MS Access database, but uh, or maybe in SQL language, right? Uh, but it means all actually, you know, or you can say even all. So it will count everything, you know. It doesn't depend upon the uh, character requ uh, requirement on the character limit or maybe the digit uh, limit. For example, if I'm writing something here like this, right, and uh, maybe some alphanumeric number, or maybe some number. Let me put it. Now you want to count them all what you will do is you can use the function count a count or maybe count a whatever but here what I'm trying to tell you is the significance of the star function so put the range and uh, I beg your pardon count if give this range and if you write in the criteria the star star means all right so it will count all the values for you ex except for the numbers because star doesn't actually deal with the numbers so either it's, it has to be a combination of uh, a digit and the text which we call alphanumeric or it has to be a you know uh, plain text but it, it is not going to deal with this number right so that's what we uh, use here uh, the star star is for all so in other words if, um, if I say that uh, uh, okay let me let me just uh, give you the solution of this problem and then you'll understand what I actually mean so see uh, what we can do is uh, we can use the sum if in this case so come here and write the formula sum if because there is just a one criteria so I'm not gonna use sum ifs because sum ifs and the, the difference between sum if and sum if uh, is uh, that in sum if you just use one criteria if you have a criteria you know more than one criteria then you can always use this function which is called the sum if right anyways so use the sum if function and uh, select the range as it's it is asking you and when you select the range the criteria now what is the criteria now see the thing is what I'm trying to tell you is uh, you really can't you know uh, without the help of the wild character you really can't specify that what exactly is your this uh, criteria is gonna be right because uh, you know if you write something like this cat and then uh, if you write the sum range that's your sum range right so in criteria if you write cats then it will sum only for the cat right and if you write s thinking that okay now it is going to sum up the all the you know items which has s no it is not going to it is going to actually check that who you know which all items has uh, has this s only s so if if you have any s item here no you don't have any s item here right you have cats dogs cakes toy sugary milk banana veggie and so on but there is no as such uh, all alone s item right so what you can do is here your the significance of this you know star comes so when you write star s what exactly it does is it says that before s it could be anything it could be alpha numeric number it could be alpha right and it could be a number as well why because if if you'll have 444s let's say 
444s, triple four s, then obviously that's an alphanumeric. So it is going to count that thing as well. But yes, if you have something like triple five, triple six, or maybe some number, hard code number, then it's, this is not gonna count that um, identity, right? So writing uh, star s simply means that it there could be a number of characters or digits before s, or there could be nothing, right? So, but it will take all into consideration. So now you press this and yes since you're not writing anything after s if I'm gonna write something after s then what it will say is it will say that this s could be anywhere in between right Bet which means that before and after s it could be anything or it could not be but we are not because specifically you have asked me a uh, person you know who uh, sent out this email that the last character has to be s because that's how his table is maintained they have they are keeping a check on all the plural items and the singular items you know by this way that all the plurals will have s at the end and uh, singular obviously will not have right so just do use this option and um, put it in within quotes because it's a string and press enter you'll get the 369 so you can check that i guess uh, 200 300 and dolls and cakes and what else is left yeah veg veggie items so it is going to be 369 exactly 369 right so that's how you can uh, play with this function and uh, I hope uh, this serves you or this uh, you know the purpose of writing an email and uh, I hope you do well now and let me know in case if you if you still have some any you know other issues and uh, thank you so much guys for watching and uh, that's my email ID and you can write me an email in case if you're looking for MS Access Database Training or VBA Advanced uh, Excel, Basic Excel, Intermediate Excel, Access VBA, whatever, let me know please. I would be really, really glad to help you. Thank you so much and stay fit and be happy. Bye-bye.